One of the things that, that I'd like to do is to look at laws and why they're there and then to say are they accomplishing what they what our purpose is or are they silly and um, I, I went on a radio show and asked people to send me their silly Utah law comments and what's interesting is no one has responded to that so I, I gather there's no silly Utah laws <laughs> in spite of the fact that uh, um, we uh, um, so often get blasted for it but one one concern has been brought up to me and that is uh, the glass curtain the Zion curtain whatever you want to call it um, and um, in, in looking at that um, it seems to me that maybe that is having a clear glass curtain between the preparer and the and the bar doesn't seem to be solving the purpose uh, I, I, I would like to do things that protect minors um, which I think was the original purpose of the glass curtain uh, so I'm looking at uh, drafting and maybe for legislation because this has to be done through a statute change rather than legislative thing but I'd like to see us look at a statute that maybe changes the idea of the glass curtain but maybe uh, incorporates for example what the Nevada law is which says that minors cannot be served at the bar I think other other states have that or that the liquor can't be prominently displayed it has to be under the counter preparation can be in a you know usually the bar or the counter is higher so preparation is below so that it it, it fulfills our dual responsibility of providing alcohol and not making anybody who's uncomfortable with alcohol uncomfortable which is also impossible to do but that's our charge <laughs>